Hey. Hey, it's Jack McEnroth, and we are here for Fashion News Live backstage at the Victoria's Secret 2009 show. Before the show, it's hair and makeup. There's extensions everywhere, all over the floor. Model Mayhem, Heidi Klum is here, Marissa Miller is here, Alessandra is here. Um, all the big girls are here. I just talked to Chanel, Chanel Amon. Fashion show, and I've discovered supermodel Alessandra Ambrosio. How are you? Good, and you? Fabulous. Um, I actually saw you at Christian Suriano's fashion show. Are you a big fan of his? Yeah, as you, you know, he's amazing. He does amazing clothes. All the prints that he uses on his clothes are incredible. I was it was my first show that I was there to watch instead of walk, and I enjoy it a lot. It was really beautiful to watch. So, what's the difference between being in the show and being an observer? Like, what do you prefer? Oh my God, it's so much more pressure when you're on the show than watching a show you get to enjoy. When you're doing a show, you know, you're very nervous and, and it's a big responsibility. So you and I like both. <laughs> so you still get nervous? You're, you get nervous? Uh, yes, you know, moments before the show, I get nervous. Yeah. And then once you're in it, like, it kind of gets you going, you get going? Oh yeah, once you start, there's no way back and then you just got to enjoy. Fabulous. So what have you done to prepare for the show? I know it's a big, huge process. It's a huge production. Well, I've been started working out like a month, a month ago. I started wow. working out. But last You're so tall. <laughs> um, 2009 in New York City, back in New York City, and I've run into the gorgeous, fabulous Chanel Iman. How are you, darling? I'm great. Thank you. How are you? I'm fabulous. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is your first walk as an angel, correct? It is. It's a very exciting moment for me. It's... <laughs> It's overwhelming because there's just so much going on back here. So many cameras and so many um, uh, uh, video crews yeah. and, 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 and it's makeup, it's hair, it's one person you, pulling you from one side of the room, another person pulling you to the next. Um, I think backstage is going to be insane yeah. <laughs> with bras and panties just on top of the walls and wings everywhere, wings, wings are wing feathers on the floor. <laughs> are you excited about your outfits? I am excited. I'm so excited about everything this is this is great I mean, well i read somewhere that this was actually kind of a, one of your goals in your modeling careers to be a victoria's secret angel in new york city 2009 and we just stepped onto the pink carpet trying to negotiate our space for the celeb arrival we have about six inches Hey, Jack McEnroth, uh, Fashion News Live with the CEO of Victoria's Secret, Sharon Turney. How are you, Sharon? I'm great. How are you this I'm evening? Great. Thank you. You look Hi, fabulous. Guys. Thank you. I'm going to ask you a lot of, some of the same questions, but tell us about the show tonight. What, what are we going to expect? Well, it's really going to be a magical night. We call the show The Magical Journey, and you will see uh, Store Troopers, which is the first show that goes out, the first segment, I should say, and it's really futuristic. We have great entertainment with Black Eyed Pea. Heidi's wow. emceeing it, so I think you're going to see, uh, it's going to wow you. And it seems like um, it's the year of the baby angel. There's a lot of angels having babies, like Carolina and Heidi and uh, Adriana. Yes, it is. And we're very happy for them. We love our women to have a balanced life, to get the best of both worlds, a career and a family. And it's terrific. Well, I can't wait. Like, and best of luck. It's going to be amazing. I'm so happy it's back in New York. Yes, I am too. So, so thank exciting. you for coming. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Handsome, handsome oh, please. I'm not going to compare to you. Jack here with the hostess with the mostess of the Victoria's Secret Show, Miss Lovely Heidi Klum, who really needs no introduction. How are you, darling? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm, I'm great. Now, tell me what it's like to be hosting as opposed to walking the show. You know, kind of like what you're doing. Do you like to host? Is it fun? Yeah, but you're a much better host than I am. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I mess up all the time, I think you are. and I mess up all the time, and I have to do it again and again and again. So thank goodness that nothing is live well, in front of the people. True, I because totally. Otherwise, agree. you have to rehearse. That's like true. when I do this kind of stuff in Germany for my top model show, I rehearse for like two days because I'm very anal that way, and I want to get it right, and so I have to do it again, again, again. She's amazing. But here, it's kind of you know, 
they kind of squeeze me in here and there right. and I do things backstage with the girls. You know, we had this big model contest here yeah, and I one know, girl amazing. gets to walk tonight, you know, with the angels on the runway. So that's very exciting. And, and I do the wraparounds. And one, one, one last thing is, I, it seems like it's the year of the baby angel. You just had a baby, Carolina had a baby, Adriana yeah. had a baby. What's that all about? Because someone has to plan for the future. Don't you think it's we maybe all the underwear? The future underwear. angels. <laughs> We're all getting older, and so we have to make sure that there's new beautiful girls I like that, that are going to step into our wings. And I think maybe the, the Victoria's Secret line has something to do with all those babies being made, don't you think? Maybe. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see you out on the show. Have good luck. These girls are just so sexy that, you know. You can't help it. Can't help it. See, with Christian, Christian Suriano, and first I just want to say happy What's birthday. Oh, thank He's you. ancient now. He turned 24. I'm so old. He's, you are so old. I know. You look so dapper. Thank you. I try to come correct, girl. I try to come correct. Good girl. So tell us about your makeup line and what you're fit. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Love you. How are you? I'm good, honey. How are you? You look gorgeous. Okay. Tell us about your makeup line and your affiliation with um, uh, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, Love VS. Um, we launched the makeup collection probably about six months ago, and um, it sold really, really well. Sold out, actually. And, um, <laughs> you do so, say so. If I do say so myself. And um, no, so it's great to be here and support and, and, and see. And um, uh, obviously, Alessandra was the face of my collection, so it's great to see her looking fabulous. And um, obviously, Tranny Klum, you know, she'll look right. stunning. And um, so it's been it's been fun. So, what color story would you suggest for me from your makeup line? Mm -hmm. Well, I ex you know I think you're all about nude, a nude lip, and a nude you know shadow, and okay. then maybe a high pony. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I think I think I'm a little tall for a high pony, but I might try it out just like. Very Linda's yeah. out, you know, <laughs> two seasons ago. Oh, right. Yes. And um, I, was, I heard a rumor that you're going to try to steal the three million dollar bra off the runway. Yes, I actually am wearing it right oh, now. Oh, you are. See my cup. I know. Oh. I don't. Who's wearing that I don't this know. year? I don't even know. I think, I think it's, it's, well, it's, it's Tranny Clum. Yes, Tranny Clum. Hopefully. <laughs> um, well, I love, I love seeing you, you always. Love seeing love you. Mean it. Bye. I'll see you soon. Have a good night. Mwah. Have fun. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey, Carrie. Jack Hi. with Fashion News Live. How Hi, are you? Jack. I'm very good. Thank you. I just want to say one thing. My friend yeah. Kevin Christiana had a this photo. You were photographed wearing one of his jackets, and Hi. it made his year. Aw, hello, yeah. Kevin, and thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. No, you look amazing, and as you look amazing tonight. Thank you. So why, what are you excited to see tonight besides um, the Black Eyed Peas? Besides the Black Eyed Peas, I'm, I'm really looking forward to just seeing what Victoria's Secret has up next for us. You know, women all around the world wear Victoria's Secret, and it's it's an event to have something, one of their pieces. You really do feel sexy in it. So. Well, and also, you know, it's about the models. The models always look smoking hot. Yeah, it, of course. As I do mean, you. Well, thank you, but I'm no Victoria's Secret model. Well, you know, it's, it was funny. I was talking to some of the girls backstage, and I'm like, how do you prepare? And they're like, oh, we die for three months and work out. And, of course, they're all like this big. I know. It's, it's like, die for what? Us. Your body, you we're were crazy. born You're born to do this. with that body. Yes, yes. So what's up next for you? Do you know what's going on? Um. Well, end of the year, I've got, you know, just Christmas shows and uh, getting ready for New Year shows and stuff like that. And then top of the year, I shut down everything so I can go back Good in the studio. You. Yeah. Good for you. I want to, you know, allow myself to be inspired and come up with a whole new, fresh direction for my second album. Yeah. Do you kind of have a feeling where that's going to go or is that just um, is it going to come to you? It's going to come to me. I know when I sit there and create, things just happen. Yeah, myself and Timbaland and Polo the Dawn. We're going to... Make and sure we, we top it. Excellent. And we are Fashion News Live, so who are you wearing? Oh, Armani. Armani. Head to toe, yes. You, you wear it well. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank you. Hey, Jeremy Jack from Fashion News Live. Um, huge fan ever since Clueless. So um, let's get just down to the basics. Who are you wearing? Um, it's Rag and Bone. Love Rag and Bone. Yeah, Excellent. Cool. Yeah, you wear it well. So tell me what's going on with Law and Order. What's up next? Uh, we've got just some great episodes coming up, man. Um, there's, they're really, the scripts are great this year. They're mixing it up. They're doing very topical ones. Then they're doing very personal ones. Uh, Anita Van Buren, my boss, and Pantha Merkerson, she's got an amazing storyline. She has cancer, and she's dealing with um, the treatment of it and coming to terms with the possible you know, end of it one way or another. And so I'm really proud to be a part of the show when it's exploring these new uh, realms. Right. That sounds good. Hey, Gavin. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm Jack from Fashion News Jack, Live. pleasure to meet you. I'm Gavin. So, pleasure. Nice and nice. Pleasure. pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Tell me about the, the uh, tie between fashion and the music. Well, I, I, I was uh, talking with someone just earlier, and uh, I, I was just saying that, that fashion and music are, are both very, very important sort of, sort of filtering sort of um, elements of art, you know? Right. Music is sort of a social filter of its own. Fashion is a social filter of its own, and they're sort of, uh, they create these sort of uh, tribes by choice. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you're someone who listens to a certain kind of music. You happen to fit in a certain group of uh, friends, you know. And same thing with uh, style is often very similar in that in that regard. You know what I mean? Were you stylish before you got really involved in music? I was never stylish. I always you're just stylish now. Huh? Well, I'm trying. You know, my my cleanest, dirty shirt. You know. And uh, that's, uh, that's the way it's always really been. Jack McEnroth at the very end of the most amazing Victoria's Secret Show 2009 back in New York City. It was fabulous. It was glamorous. The models rock. The music rock. The celebrities were out of sight. Um, got some great interviews. So I hope you enjoyed it. And come back and see us at fashionnewslive.com.